Maybe you make the first four to six hours of the day really easy to process in some kind of a, a smoothie or a shake that has most of the amino acids in a free form, maybe the fats more easy to process like in an MCT oil or something like that. And then we use a lot of the vitamins and minerals all broken down. That can be very helpful and give the digestive system uh, a chance to rest. And some people, they notice this because they just feel really good when they fast. And so if you fast and you feel really good, that's excellent, but you're still not fixing the problem of getting nutrients in the system. So that's where using some kind of an elemental type of a shake can be really helpful. Yeah, well said. Well, I'm done. I uh, feel like we covered a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, I mean, someone asked one question about flour substitutes. It just depends um, on where someone's at. So flour, it's, it's a processed food. So out of the gates, if someone wants um, like a starch, um, I recommend maybe a greener banana, maybe yuca, cassava, maybe a um, kaboka spaghetti squash. Just look at some of the fibers, uh, non-starch, or I should say more starchy carbohydrates that are going to be grain-free. See how you do with that. And then if you want like an actual flour, you can look at like an arrowroot or you can look at like a cassava are pretty good because it's still grain free, but it's still going to be on the process side. So ideally try to keep it grain free so you don't have all the extra um, gluten sensitivity connection with those. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's what I was going to say too. Potato, rice, a lot of these things can still create problems for people. I've had many people feel like crap on some of these gluten free breads. So yeah, it's still processed garbage is my opinion. Yeah. And then someone wrote in about the... Um, the onions there, onions are very high in FODMAPs and that can be a problem. And so if you're head your gut feeling a lot better and you come back in and you're noticing FODMAPs are creeping into your diet and causing a lot more bloating, definitely kind of, you know, rein that back in and see how much that kind of brings you back to homeostasis. Yeah, this person told, uh, they said that they've had similar issues with cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and other similar veggies. So yeah, I mean, I would go more animal based, see how you feel with just some uh, meat and some berries for a little while. Maybe if you tolerate a little bit of some organic pecans, if you want to do a little bit of nuts, but do like a bison burger and handful of blueberries for lunch and see if you feel better. I suspect you will. Yeah. At least just try, you know, cutting out the higher FODMAP foods because when you address microbes, right, you, you starve it on one side with restricting certain foods that can feed it. You kill it with certain herbals and then you crowd it out with, with probiotics. And so sometimes we have to go back to the killing side and killing the microbes out a little bit more. But I always just see how much the starving kind of works, get the starving going again. And then if you have to kind of return to a protocol where we knock down the microbes with herbs, we can always do that too. Yeah. And we've made these protocols a lot. It's really fun to combine and mix and match and get the synergistic effect of this herb plus that herb. I mean, that's where the magic really happens. And there is an art to this too. Like you said, when to cycle things on, when to cycle them off. So there's not just this one cookie cutter thing that you have to do. You really got to just work with the person. Certain herbs we use for certain parasites, certain ones we use for bacteria, certain ones we use for fungus. It depends on what you got. Most of the yep. time it's a combination of all these bugs. Awesome. Hey, Evan, great podcast today. Hope everyone at home listening enjoyed it. Feel free to share with friends or family. Put your comments down below. Let me know what things that you guys have, have tried at home that have worked well or haven't. Really appreciate the conversation. Evan, have an awesome day, man. You too. Take it easy.